Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about borders. So uh, I already have this styles page pulled up and it kind of works nice for some talk about some borders. So we're going to go ahead and leave this uh, from the last video. And uh, just to make this a little better, what I'm going to do is just get rid of the background color red here on our outer div. And um, let's go ahead and also get rid of the inner green color. And let's just leave everything else kind of how we had it. And uh, right now uh, it's laid out, but we can't easily see uh, where the borders are. So what I'm going to do is work on putting borders uh, on both of these. So let's start with the outer and let's talk about a border that we can do. One of the most basic type of borders you can do is just type border as a property. And it's going to take a few different uh, shorthand uh, values that we can use here. So for one, uh, we want to tell it uh, the the um, width of it. So we could say, uh, one second here, uh, we just want to look at the border here. We got color, style, and width. Okay, and we can actually add um, these all in one property as shorthand. So I'm going to show you that way first, but know that you can style these properties separately but uh, it, most of the time when I do this I kind of do it just in line so we tell it the width first and let's just do a one pixel wide border and we'll make it solid and let's just do black okay um, so let's do this so we'll do zero 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 uh, as a hex to make a black border so let's go back here to our spacing and refresh and now you see I have a border a one pixel black border around there. Uh, one thing you can do, and I haven't showed this, but in the colors, you don't. If you have all the same, you don't have to type all six out. You can just do three of those. Uh, so zero 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 is the same as zero 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 zero. Uh, so if I refresh, that stays the same. That's kind of a shorthand for writing the color hex there. Um, the other thing that we can do is just kind of play around and see what kind of different borders we can do. So I can I can actually change this up. Let's do four pixels. Make a real fat border there around there. Um, uh, you can also change this property of solid. You can do different things like dashed. Doesn't have to be solid. And so now we have a dashed. There's a dotted border. So it's dots instead of dashed. Uh, there are uh, different ones. There are, let's see, uh, there are double. Whoa. Double. See what that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty nice, kind of like a picture frame. Uh, there's groove. So let's try that. So you can see there's all sorts of different styles we can do here. Uh, that one doesn't really show up too well because we're using black. Let me try a little bit lighter color here. See if it looks any different. Yeah, so it makes it kind of a 3D. Uh, you can tell a little bit better there. It has like a darker groove and then a lighter uh, gray in it to kind of make it look 3D. Let's try um, inset. Okay, so there's kind of a weird little inset deal there. We can also do outset. It's the opposite of inset. Um, let's see, what about ridge? Okay, it gives it a nice little 3D look as well. Um, the other properties we can use here is none and hidden. And there's a difference between the two. Now, see if you can spot it. If I do none, it doesn't show, or hidden, it doesn't show. And then if I do none, and I'll refresh a page. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you have hidden and none uh, to, to kind of hide the border. So, um, I'm going to put this back at solid. You know what? I kind of like that double. I thought that looked pretty cool. I haven't used that one really. And um, so let's also give a border to these inner divs here. So if I go down to the inner here, and let's just on this one, let's do border two pixels solid. And let's give this um, a nice 
I forgot my colon there. And now you can see that we have a border around the outside and a border on the inside here. Um, and then I want to show you another thing you can do. And you can actually do a radius by doing border radius. And let's give this a border radius of 8 pixels. Refresh. And now you can see I have rounded borders here on these. Um, so that may be something you want to do. You can just give it a border radius and make it rounded. Um, the other thing that we can do with our borders is um, you could use percentages here. Uh, it'll look a little goofy if I do it here, but um, if I wanted it to be kind of an oval or whatever, I can do 50%. <laughs> and you can see that it, it actually does a 50% all the way around. So on a div, it's kind of weird. But what you might do this on is like if you have a square picture for like a profile picture, you could actually do a 50% um, a border radius and it would make it a circle. Okay. So that I just wanted to kind of show that. But yeah, the border radius um, can be a nice touch depending on the style that you're going for. You can give it a small radius there, just kind of ease that around. Uh, while we're here, I'll just show you one more effect that we can do because I wasn't going to make a separate video for this. So it's not really a border, but we can actually do a shadow to make that kind of look 3D as well. So we can do what's called a box shadow. And this gets uh, some shorthand properties as well. Uh, the first two are going to be the X and Y offset. So let's do um, an X offset, offset of 2 pixels, and we'll do a Y offset of 4 pixels. And then um, what we can do here, uh, let's just give it a color. So I like to use RGBA for these shadows. And we can do, um, let's try 0 0.7 for a 70% opaque. Okay, so that gives two pixels offset here, four pixels offset here. Uh, that looks a little cartoonish though. Uh, so what we could do is give it another property in here, and this is the blur. So we can actually tell it, hey, I want it to blur out for four pixels instead of being solid like that. And now you can see it gets a nice, it takes four pixels and it kind of just blurs out. And um, we can give it a little bit more here of blur just depending on what you want the how high you want these to look and now that's a real blurred out shadow and we can actually even turn it down a little bit and it would be a lot more subtle there we go so now this kind of looks 3d um just because it's got a shadow behind it but i just wanted to show you, you can do box shadows uh and you can offset those you know any way that you want depending on which way you want it to look like the light is coming from so if the light's in the top left the shadow is going to be on the bottom and right of that um you don't have to do any sort of um if you want it to come straight down from the top you can get rid of that uh make it zero pixels so now it's coming down from the top and it'll be on the left right and bottom so, and you could do negative values here too. If I wanted to come from the other direction, we could do negative two pixels. And now it looks like the is coming down from this direction. So you can put those shadows in any, any direction you want by manipulating the X and the Y offset. And then you have a blur property here and then your color. Um, so the more you blur this, the more blurry the shadow will look, but I can do a smaller blur and it looks very cartoonish but that might be a cool look for something you might want to do all right so i just wanted to show you we covered the border border radius and box shadow um i'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this box shadow for now well you know what i'll leave it but i'm going to put this back to two let's give this a little bit more of a blur here and i want to make it a lot more subtle <clears throat> so there we go and then for the border uh, changes color back to black. There we go. All right, so I hope that is kind of a little bit of a fun styling thing you can learn. Play around with this, play around with all the different border types. 
Uh, if you do go to uh, W3Schools, like I showed you, you can go and look for borders, and this will show you all the different types of border borders you can use. And you can even define borders just on one side, so just on the bottom. Um, so, for example, if I didn't want a border all the way around these, let me just hide this real quick um, and hide this radius. And I could do border bottom like this. And now I just have a border on the bottom of my inner divs. So that's another way that you could do uh, borders. But I just wanted to show you, uh, I mean, you could do anything border right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that modifier there. And so we're just going to do borders on all four sides. And uh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, take a look at that and play around with some different borders that you can do. Uh, there's some great documentation here. So uh, I hope that's helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.